This is for Photoshop. This is for the use of gradients to create brushes. Right, now, I've got Photoshop open here. So basically I go over to the gradients tool. There's the gradients tool here, select that. Then go to the radial, but there is are a selection of other brushes. So there's a linear, radial, angular, reflected, and diamond. Well, I'm gonna use radial in this tutorial. So I'm just gonna select that one. Uh, the gradients are from graphicextras.com. Right, so I'm just gonna select gradient here. You can see the gradients here. There's a whole selection of gradients. Now, select that one. Most important thing for creating brushes using gradients is the fact that the end part here is actually transparent because you don't want basically you don't want the gradient to actually fill the entire region otherwise when you actually come to create a brush you'll end up with the area defined as the whole size of the brush the whole space so you'll end up with say you've got a 400 by 400 space it will actually end up with a 400 by 400 gradient uh, brush from that right click OK at that point now just go to the document and you can just apply the gradient like that just in the area so you extend out to the area you want for the gradient so you've got the gradient there now go to selection tool rectangular marquee tool select the area then edit define brush preset you can now enter a name for the brush let's call it gradient Pre original okay now deselect now go to a brush tool select the brush tool there's some other brushes there so there's the brush tool the gradient brush and now you can just apply the, the brush as you would normally you can of course change the color and all those sort of things now I'm just going to go and quickly create another one so let's just quickly do that fill white space okay Go to the gradient again, and now go and select another gradient. So there's a gradient there. Maybe this time you actually use some of the other ones you want. But the easy way then is to actually use a selection. So I'm just going to select. So select that area. Click the gradient tool again. And I'm just going to use the reflected this time. And that's created a little area there. Now you might want, say, some fuzziness to it so if you want to actually create that it's all blurriness so I'm just going to go filter blur Gaussian blur so I'm just going to change that make that bit All right and now selection edit define brush preset click OK deselect now when you go to the brush tool you've actually got brush there you've actually got a quick brush there okay that's a quick tutorial on that hope you found that of interest thank you much